Hello, my name is Bjorn and this is my third Yeti tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to bring the hair or fur back on the character that, you know, sometimes animators just grab your model and move it and take bring it out of the T-pose and you want the hair and fur to follow. So what do you do? Well, grab the model and go to the tab that's called uh, rendering and go to texturing and create a texture reference object. Now, uh, this is uh, the, the sort of standard T-Post texture reference and we want to get this into our animation scene. So go to file and export your texture reference object and only your texture reference object. Um, make it a, an, a Maya file because OBJ is not going to be, uh, it's not going to work for you. Now, to the Yeti part. Uh, you need to grab your your Yeti node and you want to go to export groom from Yeti. Select the Yeti node. <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to export that to the same folder and go open my animation scene. Oh, well, in this case, it's a scene where he's just post. He's not animated yet. So, but the principles are the same. He's moved out of the T post. So I'm going to import, first of all, the texture reference object, which is the T post that, well, we got the texture reference object from the character in the neutral pose from the look development scene. And this is how it looks exactly like the neutral pose. And that's where we did our groom. So what we need to do now is we need to connect this texture reference object to the post model, which is no longer in the T post. So the groom no longer really matches up. So go into sh uh, show shapes in your outliner and select the shape of the texture, ref texture reference object and the, the shape of your um, model. Okay. Go to your connection editor and Make sure that you show hidden objects in both the left and right column. Now, load your texture reference object into the left column and load your model uh, shape into the right column. Like so. And go to reference object, which is located somewhere. There we go. Connect the message of your texture reference to the the reference object of your model and your set. You can hide the texture reference, select your model and um, uh, create Yeti node on, uh, on your character, just like you'd normally do. Now select your Yeti node and go to the outliner. <clears throat> and uh, in this one, you want to import the groom that we exported. So go to I slash O and select groom from the drop down menu and you want to select your groom and import that and you can see it's sitting on top of his head even though the head is turned and twisted and everything it's exactly like the work in progress hair that i'm doing right now this is nowhere near finished but it's just to show how to import and you can see how the, the tree that I have left from the the other scene is actually imported too. But not really, it's not imported yet. We just sort of referenced it in. So what you need to do is go to Yeti and import Groom from selected Yeti node. And there you go. A render. Come on, there we go. Yeah, work in progress moves character. As soon as I get the time, I'll show you how to simulate the hair. But for now, go do some cat wheels or something. 